I'm sure it's only two local government that will be ahead of us, which is Ikumaha and probably Oregon. Outside that, in the state, we want to make sure we are taught. We can assure you that we can buy the only thing we can pay you with because. The only other people I am sure for now have not actually seen what you have done for us. But I'm sure in another one year, two years, only one, I'm sure the reference point will be like Malaysia, Indonesia, and those countries in the world. Because what you have brought to us, the forest reserve that have been there for over 100 years, that just lying there today, being transformed by Saro, Bansley, Presco, just name it. And what we are experiencing as a council chairman, our revenue in the council, I'm sure when I came in, was like 400,000 as year. But today, with what we have done, we have a few millions. And I know in another one year, two years, only one will be challenging the revenue in Kubaka because of the investment. That alone will transform this local government. You have done so well for us, sir. I will continue to appreciate you even when you, your tenure ends your name will be written with gold. So we, we thank you, sir, and all we owe you is to continue to pray for you, for God to give you long life and prosperity. And whatever you lay your hands on, God will continue to be with you. Thank you, Your Excellency. We appreciate you so much. God bless you. Thank you very much, my dear man. That's your total one of the universe. Very briefly, sir, we have a... Polano, the friend of us, an interview. I want to quickly carry the Kulano to the Eddie's person there to bring the Kulano so that our governor will have the traditional blessing from the palace this morning. Go, 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 go
Very quickly, I want to call on our leader to just give us a good message. We are calling first the member representing Orion South. Honorable Brett Yama, five minutes. Thank you, the executive government of those states, His Excellency, of my God, the Lord, as a capacity. With all particular Julia Z, I want to say. On behalf of the people of Orion and South Constituency, that we are glad that today we have heard the cry of our people. For some time now, this road has been a burden for the people of Orion and South. The most amazing thing is, as at the time I was campaigning during my election, I boasted with this road that before four years, of my tenure, the governor will complete this road. And as I then, I never knew it would come to pass. But today, it's becoming a reality. So I will give the kudos to our executive government of those states for this coming best year. His Excellency has done a lot in this state. And of all he has done, I must confess, he always puts all your first. For that, let's clap for ourselves. And now it's just about three months for you to conclude your tenorship. And you are still working. So I see, I don't see any reason why any man or woman in his right senses will not want continuity. I want to tell you on behalf of the good people of Area of South. That as far as you are the governor of Edo State, come to the first September gubernatorial election. Oriomo will come out with flying color. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my sister. Honorable, I want to call um, the leader of the world, the leader of the local government, and the leader of this world, Barrister Chris Agwanibi. That's our government. Your Excellency. I'm very glad that you are here. The fulfillment of the promise you are going to serve right now. In fact, when I saw you came down from the car, my heart was like painted with a chalk, little chalk. That's to tell you the way I feel. But however, sir, the Okuta and the House of Assembly man, they already said those things I would not want to say. But I want to say in the twist. I want to be the universities of the heart of the people. We are asking for more. The more we are asking for is that this road will take you. I'm pretty sure you saw your, your speed slow down when you're getting close to people. The company at the middle, at the local, appear not to be working. No equipment there anymore. Both the tipper and the caterpillar, they are all gone. We don't know why. And the other people, the one that you walked to doing with them, they have almost finished just having a little portion to our front. So we are begging you, sir, that if the one that this woman who I believe that the same people that are here now, if they can do it to the end for us, 
I want you to look at the policy. So that we can do it, we can complete it. Because you said during my 70th birthday that you will complete the Niabraka Road as a gift for me. I want it to be complete to this time. Then I want to also beg before you came, I took a drive to where the signboard of this place was. And I saw that there's still one large pothole before Orewa Junction. So I want to beg that they should also be encouraged to just finish to the river. Because I hear there's work coming, the people are will do something from the Abraka side. So this people should not do it to the river. I don't know if my increase they are still with about two or three kilometers. So that we have the full benefit of it. There will, there will not be another Abaseki who might think about it about us as we are thinking about us. So now that you are here, we will try for you to eat in the kitchen, not to eat in the parlor. So I'm begging you very soon so I to look at this portion that is left, and then uh, you want to be bridge, so that we have a full complement of the road before you leave. We will continue to respect you, we will revere you, we will be praying for you in and out of government. You have done so much for us. I keep telling my people, even before you came, I was educating some of them. I said, are you all going to be farmers for life? I said, the, farm, the royal farm farm, the Rodi Biroba and the rest of them that are here, I know for your children to work. I said, the governor said something in my presence one day. The way people leave the city for Italy and the rest of them. So also people from Oriomo go to Upper Sakoba. And that you are, going to, you are encouraging the, mig the remigration back to our homeland. So with those, uh, those, uh, those uh, jobs on, you are going to see a situation that uh, our people will come back home. We will now have more houses, build more houses, have more tenants, we will have more uh, beer parlors and restaurants and the rest of them. So you discover that we too will now be doing our family. We will be exporting this. So I, want, I'm, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough because I know what you have done. And I know what you still have in mind. That time will not let you complete. I want to beg you in addition, sir, to tell the man we want to vote for because of you, that any project not completed by you should do it for us. And that we should do more. Because uh, we believe that Ugo also need electricity. We need to have light. So if you can't finish that one before you go, they should be able to do it for us. I thank you so much for this journey. The flag of sir. The flag of sir. Take, I take cognizance of everything uh, I've said about the extension of the river and the completion of this uh, later part. May the good Lord guide you and bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, my leader. And very quickly, I want to call on the MP of Preston. Let me have one of the people to sing the power. We shall not be Good morning, Your Excellency. We are extremely happy to be part of this road project. And on behalf of Presco, we want to extend our sincere thanks and gratitude, especially to, to Your Excellency and uh, the rest of his team and to the community especially. As we all know, infrastructure development is critical and key to the economic development of a, of a society or a particular community. That way, it will definitely help us to be connecting people together and it will help us to be having a better quality of life and uh, that will improve overall general uh, living of the people in that particular place. That way we are very, very grateful to be part of this. And once again, we extend our sincere thanks and gratitude to the entire team here. Thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you for very much, my MP. And now to the man of the moment, the great governor, the wake and see governor of those states, the Otokuna Doom, the man who has brought smiles to the faces of many, especially in Orion. One thing that is very clear, I want all of us here to know about this road, is that this road is a federal government road. Because the federal government is nowhere to be found, 
they are missing in action. We have a governor that cares for the people. And that is why he has decided, because he will not allow the people to suffer. He has decided to do this road. And from Benin down, we know we are seeing the result. I want to say, sir, thank you very much for this. The only way, like our executive chairman, who could have told you, and there's nothing short of that, we are going to reward the party with our votes. It's a promise. Because you have rewarded us. The federal government have abandoned us over the years. We have been in darkness. We will abandon the federal government and their party in this particular election and vote on Paseki and his party. This is not a political garden we have, have more to say. But I want to welcome your son, your governor, Mr. Governor Sir, Godwin Obaseki, Executive Governor of Ego State, for his address and the subsequent flag of this wonderful ceremony. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Please sit down. The Chairman of Uriwa Local Government Council and Chairman of Edo Album, Honorable Newman Giagwe. The member representing Oriwa constituency in the Edo State House of Assembly, Honorable Bright Yamo. The Commissioner 